well, call it method acting, call it great research. But not only has Cal Penn been here a couple of times now, but the star of the show, Josh Duhamel, spent almost a week here chatting with the detectives on the BCPD, going on ride-alongs, finding out what they do in a day. Our Brittany Gray is live with us in downtown Battle Creek tonight, and she spent some time with a sergeant or two to find out exactly what they do do and how they welcome these out-of-town visitors. Hi there, Brittany. Yeah, Annie, you know, it's one thing to play a cop on TV. It's a totally different thing to live it day in and day out. Well, Cal Penn and Josh Dumel, they got a little taste of what that was like. They spent some time here in Battle Creek hanging out with the gang unit, the undercover drug unit, as well as the detective bureau, finding out what life is like for them on a daily basis. It's been fun. Yeah. It's not every day you get to hang out with a TV star. Several people at the Battle Creek Police Department got that chance when Josh oh, Dumel and Cal Penn came into town. Battle Creek, Michigan. How many other places in America have a show named after their town? You know, you have some preconceived notions maybe of what people will be like, and both of them were very, very down to earth, very nice, seemed to really... Um, whether it be true or not, they definitely seemed as if they were interested in what we were doing and uh, interested in learning. Sergeant Jeff Case oversees the department's gang unit and says it was Dumel and Penn's decision to come out. And at times, it got interesting. Traffic stop also with Cal where people had uh, hidden um, some drugs in some interesting places. And uh, so I think for somebody that's not comfortable with... Uh, being on a ride along or what have you or, or, or that environment that was kind of I think mind blowing to him. There was some downtime giving the officers a chance to hang out and meet the actors. Kay says he introduced Dumel to one of the officers who apparently had never heard of him before. When he found out Josh was an actor he says uh, I just got direct TV. You on direct TV? And uh, Josh said well yeah I was on a show called Las Vegas and he's like nah never seen it before. And come a little awkward? Yeah, you could say that. Kay says they tried to plug Dumel and Penn in to see what the role might entail on the show, but in the end, it's Hollywood. And what you see might not be what you get back home. As the show airs, we don't really know what to expect either. If it's going to be this uh, where Battle Creek's um, dumped on maybe to a certain degree at the beginning, but uh, hopefully they got to experience the fact that the people that are here are really, really good at what they do. I grew up in a small town. You grew up in Michigan. And while the show won't be a carbon copy of the real BCPD, it's exciting for the department knowing some of their habits made it into the show. We have one guy that has a baseball bat in the office, and he's, he holds on to it a lot. And I think he talked to Cal about that, and you might see that in the show, and that's directly from their conversation. Sergeant Martins tells me the show might also have a few other real Battle Creek references, like a street sign here or there. I'm told Emmett, the street sign Emmett, might make an appearance. Coming up tonight at 6, we hit the streets with a real Battle Creek police officer. Kate, I'm going to send it back to you inside.